Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Sean, and I'm here with just a little video. I'm going to put these in sections. Um, I'm sorry I'm not feeling that good today. I have an ingestion so bad. I, my wife made some really good spaghetti sauce last night, and I ate last late last night. And uh, I've been up, you know, all night just with an ingestion bad. When you're 51 years old, uh, you have a, you know, you can't just eat whatever you want to. When I was a young guy, and, you know, just tell you folks out there, when you're young, you can eat a, a tin can and nothing will bother you. But um, I wanted to share some stuff with you because a lot of these people that are making true channels, they're, they're saying, oh, well, this is Jesuits or it's the Freemasons. And, and yes, they're all the groups that are involved, but there's one family and there's one there's one one that controls them all. It's the Rothschild family. It's the their Carnesia. Uh, how I think it's called. How do you pronounce it? It's Cazenaria, Cazenaria, Cazenarian, uh, mafia. It's um, uh, it's where they were from. By it's part of Turkish back in the 10th century, even before then. And as I said in my other video, what would happen is uh for a long time people would travel in that area they would go missing their children would be taken from them and they would be sacrificed literally sacrificed to their god ball which we know is the devil uh samaja satan lucifer Baal, whatever you want to call them that's what they made a pact with this guy with the devil it, and it is it's a fact you know and uh they changed their name a few times they own everything they're part they they for the last three thousand years, they are they have caused every war. They they have caused all these types of atrocities in the in the world. Um, they're responsible for over hundred million Russians and Polish people. Um, the death of them before uh, you know before World War Two, and then add add whatever happened in World War Two to that list also. And I'll be making some you know the last video I tried to post of World War Two. You know, it doesn't put, paint a good light for America or the, the, you know, the winning army because the soldiers were told to rape and murder the German people, like the women, rape the women, and they were crucifying these women and killing their children. It was brutal, okay? And they should have, they would have been arrested for war crimes as the German soldiers should have been arrested for war crimes also. But the German soldiers didn't do that to the, to the, their captures. You know, when it, when they caught the Russians, they would, uh, you know, give them a chance to join, or they would execute them, or they would uh, put them in, in a, um, into a camp. You know, and uh, they actually made a movie about it. It was called the It was called the Great Escape. It was like 1,500 people escaped from German one of these German camps, and it was a movie. Ba ba it was you know they based a movie on it years ago. Um, when I was a little kid, they had it out. It was a world class, you know, movie, and uh, it showed you how they operated. And we're not going to get into the Holocaust and all that. Um, people died, and people, and, you know, on both sides, people died. So um, it's nothing to take lightly, but there's a lot of evidence out there that would suggest that things aren't what they seem to be. So let's take a listen to what this this dude tried to do. This this billionaire back in the day tried to expose these people, and he. Benjamin H. Friedman was a successful Jewish businessman who was at one time the principal owner of the Woodbury Soap Company. He spent the great preponderance of his considerable fortune, at least two and a half million dollars, exposing the tyranny which he believed had enveloped the United States. The curtain is now being pulled back to fully expose the Khazarian Mafia and its evil plan to infiltrate, tyrannize the whole world and eradicate all Abrahamic religions and allow only their Babylonian Talmudism also known as Luciferianism, Satanism or ancient Baal worship. The history of the Khazarians, specifically the Khazarian Mafia, KM, the world's largest organized crime syndicate that the Khazarian oligarchy morphed into by their diplomagazin of Babylonian money magic, has been nearly completely excised from the history books. 
the present day KM knows that it cannot operate or exist without abject secrecy, and therefore has spent a lot of money having its history excised from the history books in order to prevent citizens of the world from learning about its evil beyond imagination, that empowers this world's largest organized crime cabal. That is something that the people in the United States have never been told, they never knew why we went into World War I. The Balfour Declaration was merely Great Britain's promise to pay the Zionists what they had agreed upon as a consideration for getting the United States into the war. When the war was ended and the Germans went to Paris to the Paris Peace Conference in 1919, when they were cutting up Germany and offering out Europe to all these nations that claimed a right to a certain part of European territory, the Jews said, how about Palestine for us? And they produced, for the first time, to the knowledge of Germans, this powerful declaration. So the Germans, for the first time, realized, oh, that was the game. That's why the United States came into the war. And the Germans, for the first time, realized that they were defeated. They suffered this terrific reparation that was left on to them because the Zionists wanted Palestine. And they were determined to get it at any cost. When the Germans realized this, they actually presented it. Up to that time, the Jews had never been better off the best we can to reconstruct it Kazarian Mafia's secret history and blood oath to take revenge on Russia for helping Americans win the Revolutionary War and the Civil War, and their blood oath of revenge against America and Americans for winning these wars and sustaining the Union. At the Syrian Conference on Combating Terrorism and Religious Extremism December 1, 2014, in his keynote address, Veterans Today Senior Editor and Director Gordon Duff disclosed publicly for the first time ever that world terrorism is actually due to a large international organized crime syndicate associated with Israel. This disclosure sent shockwaves at the conference and almost instantly around the world, as almost every world le- I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna keep saying this. It's not every Jewish person. It's one family, YouTube. One family, the Rothschild family, they can be traced all the way back to these times, even before that. They're literally in the Bible. God warns you about these folks. He warns you about fake Jews, and that's what they are. As I said before, they committed so many atrocities, these Turkish uh, people, in that time. They were tenth, it was around tenth, the 10th century. And they would murder people that, that traveled through their country. They would steal their goods, they would take their identities, there was things that people had like rings and stuff that they, they gave them identity, you know, it wasn't like a picture ID or anything like that, but their clothes that people wore, even, you know, if you think about the western times, if you stole a person's horse, that horse, they, they, the person knows what their horse looks like and what the horse is, you know, it's their, it's their pet or whatever, it's their means of transportation, and the reason you would get hung for stealing a person's horse as a person could literally die out in the wilderness without their horse. They wouldn't be able to make it back to town. Uh, you know, and you have hostile environments. These folks have caused so much chaos that judgment's coming for them. And I would suggest that if you could, you know, you can go on eBay and you can find this book called The Book of Enoch. And it's about 10 bucks. Most of them are like 10 bucks for free shipping. And you read this and, the, and it tells you this uh, Enoch is the great-grandfather of Noah 
and he explains the wickedness and what happened, how it's, you know, because he had a vision from God. God talked to him, and angels talked to him, and he just like, you know, revelations. But this is before revelations. This is what's going to happen. And, you know, the people that are, are, are faithful to God and believe in the Lord Christ, Jesus Christ is the only Savior you have against these people. That's why they're trying to wipe them all out. Even, and they're trying to wipe the, wipe the Muslims out because they don't believe in usury. It's unlawful, it's sinful, and usury is when you borrow money off of somebody and they charge you outlandish amounts of money to pay it back, like credit cards and stuff like that. Stuff is all legal, folks. You know, you borrow money, you pay it back, but if you buy a house for $150,000, by the time you end up paying the house off with interest and all that, you're looking at $300,000, close to $300,000, and you're never going to be able to pay it off, unless you hit the lottery or something. Like the way, the way the way the way kids are like talking, I've talked to young people all the time, you know, and the only the, the only the way they think that they're going to be able to buy a home now is if they win the lottery, you know, and it's sad because of these scumbags. It's one group of people, okay, and they're responsible for the 9/11 attack. They're responsible for a lot of things, and if they ever the truth ever comes out about what these folks have been doing. They will be arrested, you know, and held for high crimes against humanity at the highest level, folks. This isn't just one or two things. This, they control everything. The Federal Reserve, when I was a little kid, like around 16, somebody was explaining to me the Federal Reserve. I thought it was owned by the government. I thought we printed our money and everything, you know, because I was working at the time and getting checked and, you know, worked at Pizza Hut and I was getting my checks and stuff like a little kid. And I saw taxes taken out. I was like, what the F is this? And you know, like, oh, you got to pay taxes and all that. I was like, why? You know, how are you supposed to have any money? Well, that's how the country's run and all this other stuff. And then the guy's telling me that the Federal Reserve wasn't even owned by the government. So I'm paying some private entity my money, and they're just doing whatever they want to do. They're not held, in, in, you know, they're not even held by Congress. What, the, what is going on here, folks? In 1871, the Act of Congress, it's called the Act of Congress, okay? And it used to be called United States uh, uh, for America, okay? And then they changed it from the United States for America then uh, to uh, the United States of America Incorporated, and that changed our Constitution, and that's why these folks can just do whatever they want to do. And when they say, hey, we're going to uphold the Constitution, they're not talking about the corp they're not talking about your Constitution. Our constitution that was written for us and our Bill of Rights. It's talking about a corporate con constitution that was written so the Rothschild family could use America as a portfolio to do world trade. And that's the problem. Once world trade started, that's how they dominated our country. They made our country weak. So let's hear some more. I received reports of Gordon Duff's historical disclosure that same day, some within minutes. And the shock waves from his historic speech in Damascus continue to reverberate around the world even to this very day. And now Gordon Duff has asked President Putin to release Russian intel which will expose about... And Putin is a Christian. Okay, so th this is the thing that's going on over there. I showed you yesterday. There's a certain amount of these, these Jews, and they're Nazi Jews, okay? They are just like the white supremacist people, only there are Jewish people that don't want to, that want to you know, genocide gentle and Muslims and every nation that's not, that doesn't follow their, their, uh, their, you know, the Lucifer. Basically, you have to pray to Lucifer. And then, you know, if you do survive, they think that you should be their slaves, okay? There's no negotiation with these folks, okay? They're dealing with pure evil. You cannot negotiate with evil. Evil. You cannot petition evil. You can only cut the head of that snake off. And God's coming to do that, folks. You half-assed Christians are going to find out fast when this happens because it's going to, like Jesus said, it's going to be like a thief in the night. So be prepared spiritually. And I know a lot of people watch these survival channels and things like that, and they just watch these military channels, and they, 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 they want to be prepared. You ain't going to be fighting like that, folks. It's not that kind of fight. Yes, there might be chaos out there. There might be, you know, some riots and people losing their money and things of that nature. We don't know, like, but that. But God's going to destroy the earth with fire, okay? It's not going to be water. It's going to be fire. And these people are damned to hell. They already know it. Their souls are damned to hell. God, no, Enoch told them what, what their punishment is. And it's because they came down from heaven and laid with women that were, um, you know, human women. 
and had children that were giants that destroyed the earth at the time and God had to put a flood on the earth because it was so bad. These people were doing all kinds of horrible shit and they just, their punishment's already predetermined and there's nothing they can do to get out of their punishment. They're going to be on a lake of fire for eternity for doing this and they gave out all this knowledge that we have, fire, how to make weapons, all the things that we've learned how to do. It wasn't by accident, folks. It was by design by these fallen angels and their punishment from God is going to be severe for that. You know, making weapons to destroy each other, having big giant people. You know, like there, there was a person in the Bible that was 13 feet tall and was like, you know, no one can beat this guy. And then, of course, Goliath, David and Goliath, you know, and he had to use a sling, which the angel Gabriel taught him how to make a sling and, and use their sling against this uh, giant. So, there, you know, there, there are times when angels intervene. And, you know, when, when they're arguing over the body of Moses, the St. Michael just tur turned to the devil and said, The Lord rebuke thee, because St. Michael isn't taking it upon himself to do fighting times against the devil. He's doing the work of God. So everything he does is for God, and it's not in his own glory. So that's why he just said that. And there's very few words he says in all St. Michael. You know, except the, like in the Bible when he says the Lord rebuked thee and the devil took off because he knew that God's with Michael. So, it's a spiritual battle. These people got all the marbles. You're playing a rigged game, you know. Just like my man, you know, like I made a mistake about a friend of mine that does videos. And I saw this horrible video of him so allegedly doing stuff to Alzheimer's patients and stuff. And I was like, this is terrible. And then I find out it's a fake video. You know, and then that guy's trying to put truth out there, and they're fucking, excuse my language, but they're, you know, uh, there's people reporting his uh, videos too, apparently. This dude, Pat, is causing problems for people because he's a devil worshiper himself. And in this new age religion, this new age Christianity, that stuff is going to send you to hell, folks. There is no new age Christianity. It is the, the, it is the Holy Bible, and if you go by the Word of God. And, it, you know, that's the way it is. And people say well, the, Bible, the Bible was written by man. No, it wasn't written by man. It was written by God. And even these devils know that. That's why they have to have it out there. God allows these folks to do what he, they, they do because their time is, their days are numbered on earth. And once it's all sorted out, the people that love God and are with God are going to have a good life and a good afterlife with their families and their friends without no concerns. See, we don't know how about that yet because we've never been, uh, in a, you know, we were born into sin and we were born into this mess. And God understands we have to do what we have to do to survive, to work a job and, and participate in these evil uh, things. But at the end of the day, their days are numbered. 300 traitors in Congress for their serious serial felonies and statutory espionage on behalf of the Kazarian Mafia, KM, against America and many Middle East nations. We now know that the Kazarian Mafia, KM, is waging a secret war against America and Americans by the... It's not a secret any longer, folks. It's just out there. So, if you could go on Rumble, and you can see these documents, you know, you know I'm going to make little things for you on YouTube, because I know a lot of people are, you know, don't want to go to Rumble, but YouTube is finished, folks. They're, they censor, I mean, the censorship on, on YouTube is just, uh, I've never seen anything like it, dude. And I've been on YouTube for over 10 years, okay? And even people that just do sports card videos and stuff like that, they're not even getting their, you know, like they're being, uh, algorithms are being smashed down. People making NBA rigged videos, they're not, their videos aren't being seen because, you know, people stop betting on the damn games because they're rigged and scripted, which I've been saying for years now. I have people that have followed me for over two years exposing that stuff. But there's bigger fish to fry. And these people are behind all this stuff, okay? It isn't just one person. I mean, it isn't, you know, like everybody's going to be anti-Semitic. You are allowed to say stuff that's wrong. And it's 99% of the Jewish people are wonderful, loving people. 99%. It's one family, YouTube. One family. And it's the Rothschild family. I'm calling them out on Twitter. They're trying to get the, the Supreme Court packed to destroy the Constitution. If you can't understand that, then you're blind or they're bad. And Trump is going to win the election because he's the Antichrist, folks. He's going to destroy everything, and then you're going to praise this guy. I think he's a god. Believe me, it's coming. 
Just you wait. They're, you're going to get your, your justice here on earth from that guy. Because that's what you want. But keep in mind, God says, Vengeance is mine, save the Lord, for a reason. He's going to sort it all out with one motion. And it's not going to be pretty for these folks. Well, I'm going to be wrapping this up. I'll do a little bit more videos for you. I'll see what I can find to share you, to share with you. And hopefully YouTube doesn't take this down. YouTube, we're not talking about Jewish people, folks. We're talking about one family. And that one family is the Rothschilds. Too bad they're not good and do good things for for people of the world. Because this planet would be, or Earth would be an amazing it would be an amazing place with that kind of money. These folks have over $700 trillion and they own two-thirds of the earth. Okay? Every, all the land, all the everything you think that you use that's owned by other people, they own the whole thing. I mean, they are even got Warren Buffett investing money for them, which is a half a million dollars a share to do business with half the way shares. So you ain't looking at small money, folks. They've been doing this for a while. And then when Germany in World War II, before World War II broke out, Hitler got abolished usury. And then you dumbasses are like, well, the Germans burn all these books. No, they were burning. Uh, the, 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 there was a big problem in the 19, between 1920 and 1930 with pornography. Uh, Berlin was like Solomon and Gomorrah. There was propaganda of pornography of pamphlets everywhere. And it wasn't like gay people just being married or whatever. There were predators. These fags were, um, they're fag, they call them fags because that's what they did. Not regular people nowadays that get married to each other. These folks were predators on little children, young children, young boys. Okay, so that material they were burning was all pornographic books and stuff like that. But of course, the winner of the history, you know, when you win the war, you get to write the history books, folks. That's always going to be that way, you know. So, I wish everybody the best. I hope you'll wake up and just don't be afraid, man. Just let this thing play out and keep your faith in Christ and just be yourself. And don't worry about what these folks are doing because they expose themselves and it's just going to be, they're going to end up losing. That's how it works out, folks. So, have a good day, everybody. And uh, I'm probably going to go fishing later. I'm going to try to go out there. Um, I, I, I Ashley has to work today, so I'm going to use the car and then I got to do some business tomorrow so um i appreciate everybody watching like i said and thanks for thanks for the support and my other channel is grifter buster on youtube and it's also on um you know on rumble so um if you want to i can't post anything on my other channel because i got a strike on it yesterday and then um i don't know what's going to happen to this channel that i'm posting on right now so I have a couple, you know, I'll let you guys know what channels I have, and I'll try to do my best to keep this work out to everybody, but I have a small channel compared to the other, other fellas, and these, people, these folks could do a lot more like I'm doing to show you what's actually going on, but they may be afraid, you know, because it is kind of dangerous. You're dealing with people that don't want that out there, but I think at this point in time, they don't care who puts whatever out there because they don't think they can lose, so, and there's their pride, you know, so. Thanks again, and uh, share share this information, folks. That's important, and then we'll, we can make a difference that way. May God bless everyone here. I uh, truly pray for you, and I uh, hope that God defends you in your time of need and provides for you in everything that you need uh, on a daily. Amen.